welcome back to my vlog channel. Vlog channel? <laughs> okay, I think I'm back in like 2015. I don't know why I said that. Welcome back to a week in my life. I'm starting today off. Or I can't talk. I'm starting this vlog off on a Monday evening and I'm sitting down and I cooked for the first time in months. I am so embarrassed to say that I haven't cooked in months, but... I wish I could use the excuse that I've been traveling, but I honestly really haven't. I went to New York twice in the past month. Once was for, I guess once I was gone for like two weeks, so that makes sense. But the other time I was just gone for a few days, but I think it's like any interruption in your routine, or at least in my routine, I use it as an excuse to not cook, and it's really bad. Today I worked from home and I was like, I'm gonna Amazon Fresh or Whole Foods delivery my groceries. Um, I am, I do have like things this week that I just know I'm not gonna be home for. Like tomorrow, I have a free dinner at Chica. It's this one place in Miami. I'll take you guys along with me because I'm filming a little week in my life. Um, and it's like this new Mexican restaurant, or it's not new. It's this Mexican restaurant and I have a free dinner there. So it's nice that I'm not spending money. And then Friday, I leave because I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert and I go to Atlanta. So I really only have today and Wednesday to cook. Didn't buy a lot of groceries. I'll probably eat leftovers if I'm being honest, like of everything. Um, Cause I just made like a pound of ground beef. I made a bunch of buffalo cauliflower. I feel like I can make some meals at least with that or just repeat the same meal that I'm eating right now. Cause I have all of the ingredients. So I'll probably eat this dinner two nights in a row. But I realized that I just have a problem. Like I don't grocery shop and then I don't cook and then I deliver food. So I just ordered this one thing called Sun Basket and it comes next week. So I'm really excited to try it out because the meals look amazing. And I think my issue is that I just like don't know how to grocery shop correctly when I'm constantly like in and out. And then I have leftovers or I like things go bad, like my vegetables go bad or just ingredients go bad. And it's, it ends up being more money for me because then I result, I like go and I just am like, okay, I'm just gonna go and Uber eat something. And every time I Uber eats, it's minimum of $20 um versus at least like yeah meal delivery kits are more expensive than grocery shopping and cooking for yourself but not when you're me because then i grocery shop and then i throw half of it away or i don't grocery shop and then i uber eat so i'm like let me come up with a solution anyways that was a very long-winded way of me saying that i'm proud of myself for cooking tonight and i had friends in town so we obviously ate out um and it was just like the best weekend ever it was so so much fun i like I feel like you guys can tell, but I love living in Miami. Like be living here, I've lived in Miami, uh, Charlotte, Raleigh, New York, and LA briefly. And Miami is by far like where I've been the happiest. And I know it has to do with obviously the people I'm surrounding myself with, but also just living here. It's like hard to be unhappy when it's like such great weather and sunny and there's so much to do. and. It's just so much fun. Like, I genuinely love living here. I am just like, I don't know. It was, it was amazing. So this is my reset week, but it's not because it's also Miami Tech Week. I have to get back to the office. I have to work. It's just, it's a stressful week, but I'm going to take you guys along with it. So my dinner, I made my burger bowl. I always make this. It's so delicious. I do kale, um, ground beef, onion, pickles, tomatoes, barbecue sauce, like a little bit of olive oil to massage the kale because i think that does so much and it's so yummy and i usually do like butternut squash or something on the side as like the fries but today i wanted to do cauliflower buffalo cauliflower and they only had purple cauliflower at whole foods at least that's what my whole fresh shopper told me got zero sleep this weekend and we did drink so the brain fog on a monday is just like really real um but yeah buffalo cauliflower and with purple cauliflower anyways i'm gonna enjoy my dinner and then today is the heat game four playoffs so i'm gonna watch that while i eat good morning everyone i am going to glute house today so i drove in traffic this morning but i wanted to get to the office not super super late and i just have like a very busy schedule today so middle of the day workout was not gonna work i'm here now and then i'm gonna shower there change get ready and then go to the office um i just feel like super overwhelmed i feel like i have so much i need to do um 
and I like don't even know where to begin. So we're gonna start, we're gonna try to clear my mind and work out. That's what we're gonna try to do. It's a nice day at least. That's nice. It's not, it's not raining like yesterday or I would not be here. workout clothes but have not worked out yet i feel like i might work out afterwards today's gonna be one of those days where i don't put on any makeup and i just wear these until i finally decide to work out maybe maybe not because i'm actually getting botox today and i'm also getting lip filler and you can't work out with botox but i probably will go for a walk um anyways i did some work this morning today was actually a great morning i kind of like low-key love days when i don't go into the office um, and I say that as if I'm like forced to go into the office. I'm not, but it is productive working with my co-founder there. But today I just made some coffee, sat outside on the patio. I was reading and then I was also like simultaneously, simultaneously working. So I'm reading this book called Hooked, which is how to create habit forming products because that's definitely one thing that we're like really working on with Rella is how do we make this a habit in people's lives? Like I don't want people just to go on Rella, post one post, never come back to the product. Like I want this to be integrated with your workflow and I also want you to feel like you have to go on it daily, weekly, you know, like have it be an actual habit forming product. So that is one of our challenges and that's one thing that we're reading about. If you guys are Rella users and you wanna give us feedback, please let me know dm me and we can set up a call we can text like whatever um but please let me know because i would love that so now i am making breakfast because we have a brainstorming session in 15 minutes so i'm just gonna make some toast um and then have that and then i have to go charge my car um and then i have to go and drive all the way to boca because that is where the girl that does my lip filler and my botox She's amazing. I will never go to anyone else. Um, if you are in South Florida, make the drive to Boca. It is worth it. Um, but that's where she, her new office is. So I'm gonna have to drive like an hour to that. And then I think I'll probably just work out of a coffee shop there. Maybe I'll, I'll look up like cute Boca coffee shops. But yeah, today's been a great morning. I woke up in a good mood. It's been a really good morning. <laughs> got my lips done and I got Botox. They're always so swollen right after I get them done. I feel like whenever I look at the camera, I'm like, whoa, I look like I got punched, but I don't because I never bruise with Marissa. So I, they just look very swollen and I just put a lip oil on, but I'm charging my car and I just got off of a call with the team. So I took that in the car. That took like my whole day though, just because it is in Boca, but she is worth it. And then I got Botox. I get 40 units, so I get kind of a lot, but I really want like zero wrinkles. And I also want my brows to lift. Like I want to look like I got a brow lift. Um, and that helps with that. So you won't be able to see that until like two, three days, I feel like is when it sinks in. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with her and we want to do a giveaway. So if that's something you're interested in, if you live in South Florida for like filler giveaway, because filler is $900, so it's not cheap. But if it's something you're interested in, then let me know because I would love to do that with you guys. And I'm not encouraging anyone to do it, but if you're gonna do it and you wanna do it anyways, you might as well have a chance to get it done for free. Stop by Starbucks, just got a grande iced latte, nothing, nothing fancy. And then now I'm probably just gonna read a little bit. I think I have food for dinner. I have like the some leftovers that I'm just gonna eat. I might run into Publix and get like a vegetable that I can kind of throw in. Um, I was gonna go to my friend Gracie's, but I just don't feel like driving in traffic, especially because I've been driving all day. So unless she can come to me, I'm just gonna eat leftovers. But yeah, that's kind of been my day and I'm just gonna keep reading because it's been really inspiring and helpful for me. 
I am back at my apartment and I'm making dinner. I am making the easiest dinner. I, I just made the cucumber and sweet pepper uh, salad. It's really good. It's so, 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 so easy. Delicious. Mm. Um, I'm making the salmon recipe that I saw on her TikTok. It was so easy. It was literally salmon, Dijon mustard, um, honey, brown sugar, paprika, garlic, and I think that's it. And I added a little bit of soy sauce and I just chopped it up, put it in the air fryer. I'm gonna have that with the salad and then the playoffs are tonight. So hopefully the Heat are gonna win and beat the Bucks because they're up 3-1. So they just need to win this game and then they're off to the next round, which would be crazy because they're an eight seed compared to a one. But anyways, I got an extra cucumber. I'm gonna put this away. And I've just been, I've been really trying to cook, if you guys can't tell. I've been really, really trying. Hopefully, I keep it up. I haven't bought any meal out in like literally two days and I'm saying it's an accomplishment, but because it truly is since I've been eating out like every single meal. So, and that was so easy. That was literally took as long as it would take for me to like go on Uber Eats and decide what I wanna eat and place my order. That is how long it took me to make this meal. And there was no mess whatsoever, which is super nice. I'll let you guys know how it is. I already started eating, but this is so good. I also put a little bit of the buffalo cauliflower because I made so much of it. It's like getting soggy now, but it's still really tasty. Um, but the salmon is delicious. Like you guys need to make this. It's so good. Good morning. I am about to go work out. I haven't, I feel like I haven't worked out at home in a while. I mean, I did on Monday, but before that, I've really just been going to like Solid Core Tremble, Glute House. I feel like I've been like out and haven't really been training or doing Pilates inside my house. So today we're gonna do form. It's by Sammy Clark. It's like my favorite workout. It has, I just like love the way that my body has been feeling lately like i feel strong i feel fit i feel like sometimes with when i would only do weights i felt um i don't know i wasn't like getting the results that i wanted after a certain point i have been doing weights for like three years and i was like obsessed with it but i just got bored and now i'm trying something new and i'm like so much more inspired to work out again but i'm sure that i'll eventually get bored of this and then like switch back over to weights like i don't think one is better than the other but i just like really like what i'm doing right now because it is so new because i've been doing weights forever so this is the outfit it's from amazon again amazon fashion like amazon workout clothes i think are really great for the bottoms like these shorts i love them i think they're so cute uh and they fit really 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 well however the top this is for big chested girls and i am not that like i need this to be a lot shorter for it to like be flattering or like i feel like this needs to go lower or something because it just like feels like a big tank top that doesn't fit me um so yeah that's the only downside it's supposed to be a sports bra but definitely more like tank top but anyways it's still really cute and i wear it all the time we're gonna go we're gonna get some make my vitamins and then we're gonna head downstairs to the gym because I need to use five to 10 pound weights. So let's take my morning vitamins. I am on my way to work. I am repping. Can you see that? The heat. Oh yeah. So happy that they won. I stayed up until 1.30 a.m. last night because I was watching the game and then after they won I was like very excited and I just couldn't go to sleep. Um, I feel like that's one thing people like one of my pet peeves is when if I like talk about sports because I'm not a sports girl people are like oh my god you're trying to be like a pick me you're like oh look at you caring about sports and I'm like listen I'm the first to admit I'm the least athletic person I do not give a crap about football, baseball, like any, any really, any sport besides the Heat. I about other teams. I don't watch other games. I only watch the Heat. Last year, I had season tickets and I bought them. So 
and I didn't buy them because I like want to post on Instagram. I bought them because I genuinely, my family has been a Heat fan forever. Like we have been going to Heat games since I can remember. Like, and so that's one thing. I don't know, sometimes people are like, oh yeah, pff, you like the Heat. And I'm like, guys, I actually do. <laughs> I don't know why it gets offensive about it, but I think it's because sometimes when I post or like if I like, say anything about it I will get comments like that and I'm like listen I'm the like I don't care about any other sport any other team but let me have my fun with this okay Does anyone else get like that I will say if, if you do see me watching football this year though it's because my little sister is dating um someone on the co commanders so I will support him like I will post about him because I'm like okay he's like feels like he's like part of the family you know um, but I don't care about the commanders, but you know, I'll, I'll be rooting for him. If you see me, don't call me out and be like, wait, you're posting about football now. That's the only football team I'll post about. My brother's a big like Dolphins fan. So I'll like, you know, I'll, if they're in a big game, I'll be like, okay, yeah, I want the Dolphins to win, but you won't catch me watching a Dolphins game. Like I do, I don't like football. Yeah, that's my little Ted dog. I don't know why I had to come on here. Set the record straight. <laughs>